The wrong person will eventually drift away. The right person will eventually meet. Welcome to Improve Better Daily. The article I am sharing with you today is about life after divorce. The scariest thing isn't being unloved. It's when a reader left me a message saying she and her husband can't stand each other anymore. From the time they got married until now, her husband hasn't had a steady job. Most of the time, he's either playing games or drinking and gambling. Her parents-in-law know what their son is like, and they try their best to support their living expenses. But after all, she didn't marry her in-laws. Moreover, her in-laws are getting old, and they can't help them for many more years. So thoughts of divorce come up from time to time, especially this year, it's gotten worse. Due to the impact of the pandemic, their financial situation at home has become even more difficult. Everyone is working harder than before, except her husband, who continues to play games and gamble. Hard work is not frightening, what's frightening is not seeing any hope. He asked me, I want a divorce. I really want it, but I'm still a bit scared inside. Can you tell me what life will be like after a divorce? I have never been divorced before, so I lack the authority to speak about it. After a few days, I thought of sharing a reader's story, this is the divorce story he shared with me a few days ago, and he hopes it can be used as material for my writing. Hereafter, I'll write in the first person using his story. I am 39 years old this year, and I have been divorced for three years. I met my ex-husband through a mutual acquaintance. We were both relatively old at the time, my parents were very anxious, and so was I. I met several people through arranged dates, and he was one of the relatively better ones. I knew I couldn't wait any longer due to my age, and he also wanted to settle down. He was reasonably satisfied with me, so after getting to know each other for about half a year, we entered into marriage. At the beginning of our marriage, our relationship was fine. I was serious and reliable at work, my boss valued me highly, so my income was quite good, slightly higher than his. We quickly took out a loan to buy a house, and we also bought a car. Life was smooth, and two years later, our son was born. My mother-in-law knew that I had a good income, so she voluntarily helped us take care of the child, allowing me to continue working. I was very grateful to her, and I was generous with her as well. My mother-in-law is a nice person, she took care of all the housework and the child, and she didn't interfere in our relationship. The reason I chose my ex-husband back then, was because his parents seemed down to earth. I am a contented person, and I don't have big ambitions. Having a decent job and income, a stable family life, harmonious relationships with family members, and a healthy and happy child, these were all I pursued. I cherished my family a lot. However, maybe because everything was too smooth at home, my ex-husband became complacent. After a class reunion, he got in touch with his first love again. His first love had found a better partner, and she broke up with him. He felt despondent for two years, and as a result, he aged himself. He used to resent her a lot, but time can change everything, and his first love got divorced. I don't know if it was out of a sense of compensation, or if it was the conqueror's mentality of a man, but he secretly got back together with his first love. But there are no secrets that can be kept forever. One day, when he was taking a shower, his phone kept flashing in the room. I absentmindedly picked it up, and that's when I discovered everything. At that moment, I felt like I was struck by lightning. No wonder he had been treating me poorly during that period, he was arrogant and disrespectful. I thought he was under a lot of work pressure, so I tried my best to understand him. I never expected that he was having an affair, and his heart was no longer at home. I'm not a deep thinker, that night, we had a big fight, and even my mother-in-law was alarmed. She cried and confessed to me, saying she couldn't accept it in her heart, that's why her old feelings were rekindled. She begged me to forgive her once, and my mother-in-law also pleaded on his behalf, saying he only recognized me as his daughter-in-law, he was just momentarily confused, our child couldn't be without a father, she insisted that I must give him a chance. In fact, I didn't want to get divorced deep down, I was even afraid of it. So we fought for two days, and I chose to forgive him. 
As long as he sincerely changed, I was willing to forgive him. He deleted his first love's chat and phone number in front of me, and he treated me better when he came back home. Perhaps my mother-in-law felt wronged, she became even more diligent at home, and she treated me with more love. I comforted myself, thinking it's all right, everyone makes mistakes, it's great if they can change for the better. But just three months later, I found out they were secretly communicating again. This time, my ex-husband repeated his old tricks, he begged for forgiveness on his knees, and even wrote a guarantee letter. Considering our child's feelings, I forgave him once again. After that, I discovered his infidelity three times in a row. Initially, he would beg me to forgive him, but as it happened more frequently, he didn't even bother to hide it anymore. He seemed to take me for granted, and he didn't dare to divorce me, so he became more audacious, my mother-in-law scolded him for my sake, but what use was it? Adult children have their own opinions, he just pretended to please his biological mother, and he even thought I was the one manipulating things, so he treated me even worse. And that's how I lived through a year of torment, my hair fell out in clumps, my mental state deteriorated, and my health became worse and worse. Once, I fell ill, feeling uncomfortable all over my body. He was at home at the time, but he didn't show any concern for me, he quickly went out. At that moment, I suddenly saw the light, and I became desperate for him, I finally decided to get a divorce. He thought I was just saying it casually, he didn't take it seriously, until we actually got divorced, he thought I was intentionally giving him the silent treatment, and he believed I would want to reconcile sooner or later. Honestly, I was very frightened right after the divorce, I was afraid of other people's judgments, I was afraid of the changes divorce might bring, and I was worried about explaining it to my child. After the divorce, I moved out with my child, my mother-in-law cried her eyes out, my child was raised by him single-handedly, I knew he felt miserable, and I felt sorry for him too, but I just couldn't continue like this. So I told him, he could come and see the child anytime, after all, we didn't live far away. On the first day after moving out, I slept well, I slept for a whole day and night. I had suffered from insomnia for so long, and I was so tired, it was like suddenly putting down a heavy burden. I thought I would be very fearful, very lost, but all those feelings were from before the divorce. After the divorce, some of those feelings disappeared, maybe because I had accepted the reality. After my divorce, I no longer had to support the family with him, and I received child support from him. I ended up living more comfortably than before. I could buy clothes and cosmetics for myself. And I didn't feel guilty anymore. I used to worry about the impact of divorce on my child, but my son said, Mom, you seem happier now. I like seeing you smile. It turns out my child had understood everything long ago. Maybe he didn't want me to divorce his father, but he wanted me to be happy. This is great, because I feel good. I am more motivated at work. I got promoted and received a raise, my quality of life has improved, with the help of my family, I paid off a mortgage for a 100 square meter house, finally, I have a home that belongs entirely to me. I also invest in other things on the side, my life is much better than before I got divorced, many people say I seem to be getting younger, I also feel that way. I enrolled in a yoga class for myself, and I picked up drawing, something I used to love. My mood is calm, my life is relaxed, my mother-in-law often comes to visit the child, through her, I occasionally hear about my ex-husband's news. After our divorce, my ex-husband didn't take it seriously, he felt liberated without constraints, and he was passionately in love with his first love again. Perhaps I was no longer a hindrance, the conflicts between them came to the surface. My ex-husband didn't want to support his first love's child, and his first love felt he didn't earn enough money, they broke up in less than half a year. Then, my ex-brother-in-law dated several other women, but those women had high financial expectations, he felt they were only after money, and he thought I was more genuine. Plus, my mother-in-law told him, since my divorce, I bought a car, purchased a house, and got a promotion with a salary increase, I also became younger and more attractive. So, he started to come see our child, and he even hinted at me indirectly, 
suggesting that it would be better for our child to have a complete family. He thought it would be better for our child if we remarried. I completely ignored him. In my previous marriage, I suffered so much. After the divorce, it was like my rebirth. I have money, a child, time, and freedom. How could I be so foolish as to remarry him? Now, to please me, he voluntarily increased the child's support, and he frequently buys things for the child. I don't care, I just let him be. I consider it as fulfilling his responsibilities as a father a bit more. As for remarriage, I'm sorry, I will never go back to that cage. I want to tell all the young ladies out there, divorce is not scary, as long as you have an open mind, it might be a kind of rebirth. But the premise is, you must have the ability and confidence to make money. I'll stop my sharing here today. Thank you to the members for supporting Improve Better Daily. Feel free to leave a comment and share your feelings. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Looking forward to meeting you.